I think many of us can agree, especially living in the Northern Hemisphere, that this winter has been long, cold, and never-ending. Spring has eluded us. I've been so tired and exhausted, both mentally and physically, between being ill for almost three months straight, with flus, back inflammations, never-ending coughs, sinus infections, and starting jobs that I really disliked. I've been so ready to leave it all behind me, and uh, the spring equinox brought a very much desired sun and uh, some warmth, and uh, I've been wanting to put my best pearls on and uh, to go out and enjoy life with big changes in our life, with the big move from Warsaw to the countryside. It is maybe no wonder that I have felt the need to change a lot of things inside me and around me with contracts being terminated, other contracts being signed, with packing, with administrative things, with going back and forth between Warsaw and the countryside. I've been slowly starting to feel a spring in my step and having new ideas and uh, new thoughts and plans. Hello friends, I've been in a time of transformation this spring 2023 and uh, with our looming move I've been uh, going back to my roots and digging deep inside to feel and find what makes me happy and what I really want to do in life. It's been really a time of soul-searching, a time of uh, transformation, a time of re-evaluating things in my life. Like a small rebirth, I'm still in the process. And tell me if you're also feeling that way. I am probably also because of the bigger move, because of all the changes in my <coughs> work and a lot of things and thoughts that are changing in me. Can you smell the spring in the air? <sighs> I've been having all these thoughts that I'm going to miss some foods over in the countryside and um, we are in the middle of Lent and um, it's important to abstain from different things but um, I decided to buy like a vegetarian pasta and uh, I cannot wait, it's an Italian restaurant so I thought I would treat myself and uh, there are no like restaurants in the area where we are going to live there are some bars or kebab places when it comes to sweets like baked goods and stuff like that they are everywhere but it's more about like the um, 
food you have for lunch and for dinner that uh, I'm sure we are very rarely going to eat out even though we very rarely eat now but I'm doing like a gastronomical goodbye <laughs> to Warsaw. Maybe I will continue tomorrow and go to the shopping mall, maybe buy something, shop for some things, maybe eat something. Later today we are going for some shopping to some stores for things to the house. So I will also film that for you. Mm. He's going to get lunch as well. <laughs> So these are small Italian dumplings with salmon and I've got a juice that is not from there but we bought ourselves and uh, some different veggies. Wow! Everyone is eating. The rainbow came out with its promise of hope, of renewal, for believing that things can turn around, that there are still some dreams that can be fulfilled. All the spring signs are giving me hope that I can um, do what I like to do and earn money on it. I hope I am not deceiving myself. I hope, I hope it is possible, God willing. It's also giving me hope that, that I can enjoy the countryside, our cottage house, that I can take full advantage of uh, all that it has to offer. Sure, there won't be uh, restaurants. <laughs> Sure, there won't be cinemas nearby and so on, but there will be nature, there will be animals, there will be more peace and quiet, there will be hopefully more healthy food and healthier choices, there will be more going back to the roots. And I do hope also that I can run my own small business, my YouTube and other businesses and, and make it happen as well. Are you looking forward to our move to the countryside? <laughs> well, you are not the ones moving, but I hope you're looking forward to the videos. <laughs> as I've mentioned, we went to some stores. We had a few items on our list. We got big bags of uh, dry kibble or dry food for our little dog. We do give give it to him uh, from time to time and mix with other things he's eating we needed to buy some pillows lamp things for the kitchen all in all it was a successful trip i don't know if this is all that we need and uh, maybe we'll have to buy more things other things maybe something won't be needed but the trip was successful and we went home. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video.